everyone, Renee here. So this video is going to be the first in a series of sunscreen videos that I'm doing for the summer. So I figured I'd start off with showing you my new drugstore favorites. So the focus here are my favorites from U.S. drugstores. Of course, if I were to do the Asian drugstore picks as well as the European ones, this video would go on forever. But don't worry, because you will see those picks in upcoming videos. Sunscreen formulas are probably the category in skincare that I test the most. And a lot of you know that every year when I do these videos, I don't tend to repeat reviews. Um, I like to just focus on what is new that I've been trying. But I am going to link a playlist of all my previous reviews because many of those sunscreens are still like my tried and true favorites. First and foremost, I just want to reiterate the importance of good application. Proper coverage is more important than almost anything. And just a reminder that the reason why we are recommended to use a higher SPF of sunscreen is just to hedge for the likelihood that we are not using enough and that most people are just not applying um, their sunscreen properly. So if you're having any trust issues with your sunscreens, particularly in light of recent controversies where the stated SPF on, pa on the packaging isn't actually the protection you are getting, then the way in which I just am ensuring that I get the best protection possible from my sunscreen is to make sure my application is on point. I've always been a big proponent of layering my sunscreens. You've seen me do this in my past routines. So rather than apply one big glob, approximately half a teaspoon at once, I actually find it's far more effective to apply in two layers, just separate it. So you're applying a thinner layer um, first, allow it to dry down and then apply the second thinner layer. It actually is more effective in terms of just getting proper coverage, but also um, you're rubbing it in less and the less you rub your sunscreen in, the better, the better and more even the coverage. Something I'll always use in my morning routine to pair with my sunscreen is a vitamin C serum, specifically l ascorbic acid, which is evidence-based to really boost the protection of sunscreen when used together. I also love a good mineral setting powder, um, more so than um, facial mists, because I feel like I get a lot more control and I can tell when I'm applying it, I'm getting good coverage over areas where I get hyperpigmentation. They're also great for reapplication throughout the day. I will link a video where I talk about the ways in which I feel are most effective for reapplying. These powders are also pretty resistant to water. You can tell because they're not at all easy to remove at the end of the day. You definitely need a double cleanse. If you're going to be getting a lot of sun exposure, do look for the water resistant sunscreens. The more water resistant, the better. As far as all mineral sunscreens go, it really, in my opinion, doesn't get much more cosmetically elegant than the mineral sunscreen from Olay Regenerist. This has a broad spectrum of SPF 30 and 17.5% zinc oxide. On me, this does not leave a cast and it doesn't dry down into a chalky mask. Of course, I can't speak for people with much darker skin tones than myself, but I can tell just from the application how blendable it is. It's super hydrating, almost like a, a creamy gel, um, and it's also lightly, lightly moisturizing. I think for those with oily skin, you can use this as a moisturizer. Um, for me, it's just a really hydrating kind of sunscreen. This leaves the complexion radiant. It's super, super flattering, especially under makeup. This makes for a fabulous primer. This is fragrance free, which I love. And honestly, it's pretty rare with Olay. Usually their formulas come with a very strong smell, um, but this smells like zinc oxide. This also has niacinamide, vitamin E, and amino peptides. This works well on my sensitive skin. I don't find it irritating at all. Another all mineral sunscreen that's just blown me away is this one from Coco Kind. Their daily SPF facial sunscreen lotion with a broad spectrum of SPF 32. This uses 21% zinc oxide and the user experience reminds me a lot of um, this one from Biosance, which you guys know is one of my favorites from last year. There's a video on their site which really shows people with all different skin shades from light to dark using this and completely blends out. I know for me, it completely blends out to like there's no cast. In fact, it dries down with a pretty blurred out finish for me, which is 
great. This isn't a weightless formula. I find it to be really quite moisturizing. In fact, I think it's a great, you know, and substantial summer moisturizer. Fabulous hybrid SPF end and moisturizing duo. This is full of nourishing, hydrating, and moisturizing plant ingredients. Um, there's also no added fragrance or fragrant oils or scent to it at all, other than, you know, just your basic sunscreen, zinc oxide scent. This is great for normal to dry skin, but also for oilier skin types. This works as well because it has such a high percentage of zinc oxide, but also um, if you use it in lieu of moisturizer as a hybrid, it's it's great. I'm really impressed with Bliss's All Mineral Sunscreen, their Block Star Invisible Daily Sunscreen with an SPF of 30. So this contains 11.5% zinc oxide and 4.1% titanium dioxide, and it has a tint to it that's very, very blendable also because the formula itself is very sheer and spready and hydrating and almost almost gelish. In terms of just blendability, this really reminds me a lot of another one of my all-time favorite drugstore sunscreens, which is the one from Verst. I talked about that all last year. But what I particularly really love about this is not only does it feel so hydrating um, as you apply it, super lightweight. Again, it just kind of dries down into nothingness in my opinion, but it leaves a really beautiful silky finish on the skin that is so flattering and is kind of a personal preference for me. It's hard to find these all mineral sunscreens, no matter how blendable, that actually have that silky um, finish on the skin. Most of them just leave the skin looking very, very mattified and kind of dried out. So if you're someone with dehydrated skin or you know skin that is prone more to dryness, then you know this is probably a skin finish that you will really love as much as I do. Again, this spreads beautifully and evenly, something you particularly have to watch out for in all mineral formulas with zinc because, you know, zinc uh, in and of itself tends to be very clumpy. This is full of some beautiful plant extracts that are very antioxidant rich, like green tea and hibiscus. I think the only caveat for some people will be that there's definitely a lavender scent to this. So I don't mind it, but for those of you who are sensitive to that, then, you know, this won't be for you. A sunscreen powder option, which I'm thrilled to see one of these that I will use use available at the drugstores. But this one is from Mineral Fusion, their Mineral SPF Brush on Sun Defense. During the summers, I do not leave home without one of these powders when I know I'm going to get a quite a bit of exposure. I put some more around areas where I'm prone to more hyperpigmentation, but also this, these are fantastic for reapplication over your original base. In all honesty, there are a few things that make me appreciate the non-drugstore versions more. One of them being that, um, you know, the brush, I mean, everything about it looks the same, but the brush cannot be removed like, you know, say super goop. So having the brush being removable makes it very easy to clean the brush. But you know what, that's fine because you can still take a paper towel, you know, put some alcohol in it and then just clean it that way, the way we clean a lot of our makeup brushes. The brush itself is also not as firm. So I feel like when I am applying it, I'm getting a flimsier application than I would with say the Color Science or the Super Goop. That being said, it still works. This is a really, really soft brush. So what I do is I really kind of like make sure I shake some powder out and then I just put it over certain areas. I don't go like this because I will literally get very little on my face, but I do sort of just concentrate on certain areas. And from what I can tell, this is completely translucent. I'm not sure how this will show up for dark skin tones, but this is really quite translucent on me. This is actually so similar to another one from Derma E, which I've also tried. In fact, I mean, again, it's an identical user experience to me, but this one is less expensive. I definitely wouldn't use this as your only source of SPF protection, but over a good solid foundation of SPF, then, you know, I love having that added protection. I've already mentioned multiple times this year, Garnier Green Labs for Perfecting Serum Cream Canopy. So this is a serum slash very, very light moisturizer slash sunscreen. Um, I would say that as a moisturizer, this is too light for me, but I think, you know, let's see how it goes in the summer. I think if you're living in a really humid area or if you have normal to oily skin, then this would suffice. This is an organic sunscreen, which means it uses chemical UV filters, which are completely invisible. So regardless of your skin tone, this will not show up. There will be no cast. It will be invisible. I also love that this is fortified with niacinamide and hemp seed oil, which is a really lightweight, almost dry oil. This has no added fragrance in it. It's a beautiful, lightweight texture. And I feel like this has one of the most universally pleasing 
finishes on the skin. This leaves my skin looking better than natural in a way. So if I apply this on top of um, a moisturizer or if I feel, you know, my skin is a little shiny, it will remove that, but it's not so mattifying. Um, it's got a sort of a, a lovely velvety skin finish. It makes everything look really smooth, but it definitely, I, I love the way this looks on the skin. There are three different varieties in this line. Um, this is by far my favorite. A new powerful sunscreen that I've been using is Neutrogena's Invisible Daily Defense Face Serum Sunscreen with a broad spectrum SPF of 60 plus. Again, this uses chemical filters and is invisible and can be used by people with even very dark skin tones. So unlike a lot of the Neutrogena sunscreen formulas, this actually does not contain octanoxate and oxybenzone. I think that that's sort of where they're moving towards with a lot of their new sunscreen formulations. I love a sunscreen serum. In fact, that just might be my favorite form of sunscreen, but mostly for the textural element, not so much because I'm actually using this as a serum in the serum step. I'm still using this the same way I would use any other sunscreen, which is over my moisturizer or as a moisturizer and under makeup. It's pretty much always going to be the last step of skincare for me um, because I just think it, it works more effectively that way. It's better protection that way. The serums just have that lightweight hydrating texture and it's also easier to apply more because it's not so heavy. So you can actually apply, you know, even more than what you feel that you might be comfortable with and it won't be so invasive. This dries down to a very natural finish. It's completely completely weightless. Um, this has no added fragrance in it. It also is oil free. So I actually think this is really suitable for anyone with normal to oily skin, or if you live in a really humid climate and you want something sort of very lightweight and thin. This is not a moisturizing sunscreen or something that you can really use as a hybrid, you know, moisturizer with protection. This is definitely just a sunscreen, but also it's water resistant and sweat resistant up to 80 minutes. So it definitely has staying power. A very similar sunscreen to this one from Neutrogena is this new one from Avino. They're protect and hydrate sunscreen with a broad spectrum SPF of 60. So in case you were curious about this, it's almost an identical user experience to this, in my opinion. This is also sweat and water resistant up to 80 minutes. This has staying power, but also on pond application, it is so hydrating. It feels really beautiful when you're applying it. Um, it has no cast whatsoever, completely invisible. It dries down quite quickly as well. No added fragrance. And of course, as with all of Avino's um, formulas, there's a little bit of their oat kernel extract in here. But yeah, just a very comfortable experience that is just almost uh, identical to this, in my opinion. I do have a bunch of favorite drugstore sunscreens for body, which I will be doing in a separate video coming up shortly. So I hope, you know, you found this helpful. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.